Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and it is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising. Uh, it's a general reading Saggy so just take what feels right and leave the rest. You will get the message that you need to hear and I'm asking the question what do, what do you need to know right now? So what does Sagittarius need to know right now? We have the Five of Cups so there is a sense of bridging a gap between the past and into the future and letting go of something that kind of could have made you sad or some kind of loss or uh, let's see the seven of pentacles so I'll hold these up in a sec and the hierophant look at all this taurian energy coming through for you and the five of wands so you've got two conflicts here something you're conflicted about and something you might be thinking do I want to let go of here because it has is associated with conflict loss it could have been very highly competitive it could have been some infighting uh, it could be an internal conflict within yourself uh, and it, the seven of pentacles is a really fantastic energy with hierophant because it's saying really this week spend some time prioritizing the energy into where you're going to see the most most growth for your life where you want to be focusing in, in terms of career growth, health growth, relationship growth, things that are good for your soul, rather than focusing on these energies of conflict, because it's really time to move up and beyond and move beyond, uh, uh, move beyond them, like I said. So uh, I do feel like, you know, if you've been uh, planting seeds that have been cultivating this energy of the five of cups which can be disappointment or loss of some sort it is a great time to really be investing and particularly money as well investing some energy into kind of reversing something you're reversing an energy that was going the wrong way or you're putting your focus and energy into something that wasn't working and turning it into the future, reversing it, investing in something that is really going to work. So this Taurian energy is really great for money. It's really great for bringing some uh, positive career trajections and success in and it's really great for uh, health as well. So it's really great for your self-worth, basically, when it comes down to it. And so I think that if something else is wanting to take your attention and it's not bringing happiness, just really clarify where you want to put. It's really about um, prioritizing your energy. So where you want to focus that. And you can also be looking at things. So this can be to do with, you know, just the time of day, how many hours you've got in a day, how many hours you want to put towards something. But it can also be, so it can be looking at work-life balance, but it can also be something like uh, looking at where your money is, your investments, rearranging that, getting an accountant or some great week for accountant or financial advice coming through. Uh, also a great week for applying for bank loans and things like that. So sorting some money issues out. So that's actually really lovely. It says, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. And so that's great because, you know, we can see here with the seven of pentacles looking at where you have uh, planted a seed of fear in your life and where it has kept you small. Because when we something is scary or threatening in front of us, we focus in on that. You know, imagine there is a snake in front of you. You're going to be looking at the snake. You're not going to be thinking about everything else around you. And it keeps your focus limited and small. And that's what this is saying if you choose love and open up to some more things, where else you want to invest in your time and focus your time and energy. It opens you up to a whole heap of new things. And there's a whole world of opportunity, opportunity out there for you, Sagittarius. And again, this can be to do with relationships and love that's coming in. So it really, uh, you know, has a lot to do with, everything but it can also be to do with a, a, a conflict that's been going on with somebody that has caused you some loss or sadness or pain or uh, just you know and like I said an internal conflict so let's pull an animal spirit energy for you Sagittarius but I'm kind of what I'm getting now is that this is like a yeah, there's been a relationship that's either in mid-argument or it's just kind of gone sour or 
there needs maybe to be some repair work done as well. That could be coming out as well. So the cosmic egg, wow, this is a great animal spirit energy because look at this. And speaking of snakes, <laughs> we were talking about snakes and um, this is energy coming from spirit with that circle up the top. Something amazing is birthing. And what they're doing is they're wanting you to really put your time and energy into what that thing is what that the most important thing is. So whether you're whatever that is, really uh, spend some time nurturing, protecting this. Interesting, the snake in this is like a mother snake that protects her egg. So it's a protection energy. It's kind of interesting. We had the snake analogy and I know some people are totally freaked out. But what it is, is it's shifting and changing the focus or sh shifting and changing something you were scared of and putting it into a uh, like it's like an alchemy, it's changing, it's metamorphosed into something else. Is that the right word? Probably not. But uh, redirecting your energy into something positive is what's happening here with this because this is something amazing that's coming here that is birthing. So you really want to be looking at this and, and prioritizing this. So that is very, very important. It says, life supports me. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. So yeah, again, it's this sense of being safe and supported for expansion and soul growth at this moment in time, Sagittarius, and to not be held into that smaller mindset of fear. So coming through. So yeah, a really opening you up and that's going to feel really good for you because it feels like it's the energy of Jupiter, which is your ruler, and it's the energy of expansion. And that's going to actually feel like you can breathe a nice sigh of relief coming in. We have the mermaid, beautiful, coming in as a charm or a little mer person, depending on how you want to look at that. And this is kind of, I love this because, the, you know, it is around something mythical. It is around something that is, it has freedom in your emotions there is a sense of what I'm getting is being free and believing in something that others may not believe in, believe, whether that's yourself, your idea. Uh, I just get that there is freedom in believing in that and choosing to love yourself and to love this vision and to love this thing that you're birthing in here and it can bring great joy. So there's a sense because this five of cups is like, not being able to swim in the water if the water is equal to love or the ocean of your spirit, whereas the mermaid is able to free, freely swim and swim deeply and sing and be creative and do whatever the mermaid wants. So there is this uh, lovely energy of believing because this cosmic egg is something you can see the rainbow around it. It's, there is still an unknown element about all the what's happening with this or what it could be, uh, but there is a sense to love and protect what this is and that feels really important. And so, yeah, beautiful. That's your energy for the week, Sagittarius. Look forward to seeing you next time.